Remarketing allows you to reach people who previously visited your website, providing a powerful way to match the right people with the right message. In this video, we'll show you how to implement remarketing code, known as the remarketing tag, for the first time, and how to start building specific lists for different groups of site visitors. From your Campaigns tab, click on Shared Library in the left-hand navigation bar. Then, click Audiences. On the next page, click the Setup Remarketing button. Copy the code provided in the gray box and paste it at the bottom of the HTML of all pages of your website. The code should be placed before the closing body tag. If someone else is completing this step for you, email the tag as a text file attachment. If you'd like to do this step later, click on the Do This Later button. After taking the subsequent steps in this remarketing setup process, you'll be able to find the code to add to your site on the Audiences page. You'll click on the blue tag link under the Tags and Definitions column in the row called Main List. After adding this code to all pages of your site, the list will include all of your site visitors. Now you're done with the tag creation and implementation. To avoid issues later, make sure you've pasted the tag across all pages of your website. Now that the tag is across all pages of your site, you can create additional lists defined by specific areas of your website. Creating these lists allows you to target the most relevant audiences. For example, if you have an online clothing store, you might like to show remarketing ads to customers shopping for women's apparel that are different from the ads you want to show to customers shopping for men's apparel. You can set up new, separate lists to use in each situation defined by the areas of your site for those products. To get started, Return to the Audience page and click on the New Audience drop-down menu. Select Remarketing List. Then, select Define a list of site visitors based on the selection below. In the List Definition section, you can define a remarketing list by using your site's URLs. URLs usually contain words that describe the content of each page. Using our online clothing store example, the URL for the Women's Apparel page might include Women's whereas the men's apparel page might include men's. Entering URL contains women's allows us to define a list that reaches women's apparel page visitors. Use equals to create lists based on a specific URL that you define. If you use equals, keep in mind that you need to enter the full URL, including http colon forward slash forward slash. You can define more specific lists by using conditions. Just click the See More Options link in the List Definition area to get started. New Condition allows you to create a list using OR logic. For example, if you create the condition URL contains women's and a second condition URL contains men's using the New Condition button, the remarketing list will include visitors who viewed any URL that contains women's or any URL that contains men's. New Set allows you to create a list using AND logic. For example, if you create the condition URL contains women's and use the new set button to define the condition URL contains sweaters, the remarketing list will include visitors who viewed any URL that contains both women's and sweaters. It's important to remember that you can't use the new set option to create a rule defined list that includes people who visited a combination of different web pages. For example, users who visited the women's apparel page of an online clothing store in addition to visiting the Kids Apparel page. If you'd like to combine different pages, you need to use custom combinations, which you can learn more about in the AdWords Help Center. After defining your conditions, add a membership duration. For example, if you want to reach customers who viewed the Women's Apparel page in the last 30 days, you would enter a 30-day duration. Next, add a name and optional description for your reference. If you have a remarketing list already running in your account that might include visitors from your newly defined list, you can use the initial list size option to include or exclude past visitors that match your list definition. Click Save. You've now created a new remarketing list that you can add to your ad groups to target your ads on the Display Network. From your Campaigns tab, click on the Display Network tab. Then, click Interests and Remarketing. To apply your newly created remarketing list to an ad group, click Change Display Targeting.
then click Remarketing. Click on the arrows beside your list to select it. Finally, click Save. You will now see your list as a selected, targeted option within the Interests and Remarketing area of your Display tab. If you want to learn more about remarketing or AdWords in general, take a look at the AdWords Help Center at support.google.com forward slash AdWords.